Hey, hey, I got anxiety. Fuck society. I've been dealing with sobriety. They try to retire me. Now I got anxiety. Fuck society. I've been dealing with sobriety. They try to retire me. I got anxiety. Fuck society. I've been dealing with sobriety. Quarter two and past 2021. 20, Alone in my room, boredom. Okay, start by connecting to the radio, Metro FM. Top 40 playlist, singing along, dancing, boredom fades. An old t-shirt, paint, paintbrush, creativity knocks and I answer. Hashtag it's vibes, it's a vibe. Mirror reflection, girl, your hair. PJ's Metro FM playlist, hair done, dancing all around, we good. Custom made t-shirt, I'm living. Calm down, the radio and distant voices. Everything seems to pause. My heart, my mind, my soul, my body, fully aware. Tick tock. In a split second, my mind asks, will I make it? Will I be okay? Is everything all right? Distant happy new years, a friend calls. We made it, friend. Did we? Did we really? It all gets my attention. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. Maybe I am not supposed to be here in this very moment. Mom calls. You look so nice, baby. Your hair looks so good. There is hope. There is hope. A voice inside says, I got you. I really got you. The celebrations continue. Fireworks all around. Again, we're good. A song that made it to the top 40 says, Gola Moyawam. And something inside says, forgive, 2020 may have been what 2020 was, but you're going to be fine. There is hope. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Kwani, a.k.a. Wafana Nyandini. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode three of season two. We are still at Budaki by Africa, you know. I'm going to say this again. Our home. Our yeah. home, man. Um, today I'm joined by... She's a singer, and then, <laughs> but today we're going more into a poet, more into a writing style. I'm joined by Miss Unati Moyo. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm um, well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning, for joining me, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is sure. awesome. This yeah, is really great. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for my viewers who might not know who uh, Unati is, do you mind doing like a young intro, introducing yourself? Wow. Just say, you know, what you know about. Okay, so my name is Unati Moyo. I am originally Zimbabwean from Bulawayo. And yeah, I'm a singer, writer, photographer. Uh, what else do I do? Oh, artist. I paint as well. I, I paint and draw. Um, yeah, I'm a lot of things in one. Hey, creativity is one of my things. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Such a huge CV of creativity. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So I'm really glad you can take the time and just move to poetry just for today. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, as you guys know, we just asked them to select one of your poems um, and then we're going to go through it. We just see, we just saw it, quarter two. Yeah. Um, do you mind telling us just what, this, what inspired this piece and like, like the overview, what's the piece about? So this was actually like a, it, it really happened. What What's written there and what I've recited yeah. really happened. I nice. was at home. Um, chilling New Year's Eve, like literally quarter to twelve, and I'm like trying to find like what should I do? People, some people are out, some people are not. You know, yeah, yeah. it was it's a weird time. We we told to be asleep by nine o'clock. <laughs> like, yeah, I so I was awake. I was awake um, in my room, and I'm just trying to find something to do. You know, yeah. so ugh, my hair was a mess. I switched on the radio. There's the top forty playing. And I had an old t-shirt, I had paint brushes, I had paint, and I was just like, you know what, let me just oh. do my hair, do this, customize my t-shirt, um, music is playing, you know, everything. Just, I did a few things, and then 
literally when the countdown was happening, mm. I could hear it in the distance. Um, just something in me just paused. And I was just like, are, are you going to be okay? Are you going to make it? I mean, 2020 was a whole yeah, movie. <laughs> are you, is everything fine? Like, what do we do now? You know, and then the happy new year's start and the fireworks go off and music is playing and suddenly I'm back, you know, suddenly it's like, okay, nope, you're going to be fine. Um, and then with all of that, a phone call comes, Hey friend, we made it. <laughs> and I'm just like, did we, did we know? Like, did we really make it? <laughs> so all of, all of these things happened. Yeah. And at quarter past 12, then I decided, oh, let me just write about what just happened. Um, so I did. And just a piece about that little bit of hope. That little, literally little bit, because um, last year, we all, we, we all know it was <laughs> a little bit questionable, <laughs> but um, just that little bit to be saying, to say, you know, it's going to be okay. We don't know. Nobody knows. Let's not even pretend like we do know. But quarter past 12, there is something. There is hope. So, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic, man. So do you... Do you always write like from actual experiences? Or I do. Is that where you draw from? Yes, I do. I, I feel like it's evidence. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's like when you were writing about it. Uh, yeah, it happened. Oh. So, yeah, I think that's the best way to explain it. Yeah. It's because I can show somebody like, no, it really happened. So it's not just for me an airy fairy thing. Uh, that's... So you still tell. That's, <laughs> that's still, I like that's cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go into the poem, the yeah. story of a poem. Yeah. Uh, the first line, alone in my room, but bottom. Yeah. Uh, stuff. Okay, let me just, before I continue, bottom. Are you, do you enjoy your own company, like aloneness, or were you bored because, you know, it's the 31st and I, I can... do enjoy my own company. Mm. I really do. I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a creative. Sometimes you just need to be oh, by yeah, yourself. Um, okay. But on that particular night, it just there was just something about the thirty first mm -hmm. going into the first that just felt oh, dark. Yeah. Like it, it wasn't okay. Like something was wrong. So <laughs> hence I was bored and didn't know what to do with myself. And yeah, so yeah, that particular night was weird. It was just like no man. I I, I guess it came with anxiety as well. Like. Yo guys, 2020, 2021, do I even want to dream right now? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. It's a weird place eh, to be in. It's, yeah. it's a weird place. Yeah. And Top 40. Um, start by connecting to the radio, Metro FM, Top 40 playlist. Mm -hmm. Singing along, dancing. <laughs> okay. Boredom. You were singing along, you were still dancing, I was still bored. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, is, this is why I said <laughs> there was just something about that night. <laughs> like... You know when you're trying to fill a void yeah. within you with just stuff. Yeah. So yeah. you turn on music or the radio just to silence whatever it is that is inside. Yeah. So that's exactly what I was trying to do. You know, trying to dance around by myself, <laughs> play music and, you know, do something. But still, there was just, there was just a something. something that just said, uh-uh, I see you trying, girl, but no. <laughs> So, so you know, the yeah. music is telling you to dance, your mind is like, eh, we're gonna dance. Yes. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it was. It's bad. It's bad. An old, okay, continue. An old t shirt, paint, paintbrush, creativity, knocks, and I answer. Oh, yeah. at least you answered. At least I answered, right? <laughs> <laughs> at least I answered. <laughs> Even in that mess of. of the um, so the t shirt that I, um, I painted over, mm. I painted um, faith greater than fear. So I, yeah, it's just a white t-shirt with some writing on. Yeah. yeah, I forgot what I even did. Yeah, so it's just the main writing though yeah. is faith greater than fear. Mm. So actually being hopeful. Too. Yeah, I was I was really trying to pick myself up. <laughs> <laughs> was it not like a the t-shirt, but it's just like an old t-shirt. It was an old t-shirt. Oh, yeah, no, it was like sentimental thing. Too. No, oh, so now but I guess I added something. Yeah, <laughs> I added something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am within. It's 
really the way it's like you're really trying to get your mind into it. Eh? You, know, you, you have to try. Yeah. You have to try because truth is, it takes a split second to get your mind deep within a grave. Yeah. It, yeah. it really takes that little time yeah, for you to true. get into deep depression mm. and then you're gone. Yeah. So, you know, you have to try whatever you can to just shrug it like, nope, not today, not today, Satan, <laughs> not, <to>, no. <nope. laughs> so anything to do that, I will do it. <laughs> just for time, yeah. let's I, know, I, guess. Period, yeah? I guess. I uh, guess. Before I jump on to the next time, I want to read this one. Mm-hmm. Mirror reflection. <laughs> says, girl, your hair. Why are you looking in the mirror at 12 minutes? It's, it's the layout of the room. It has a, it has a, <laughs> a, it has a huge mirror. And I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't oh, avoid okay. it. So I looked into me and my hair was just... Mm, it was questionable. Did you fix so it? I fixed. I d- I do my own hair, so I I did it, and I was like a little pretty after that. <laughs> so, um, but again, that escape mm. to that something which is deep within. Yeah. yeah, let me just do something with myself because also, I mean, at twelve, what are you doing, looking all gorgeous by yourself in the room? Nah, I was I was looking scruffy. I was like. <laughs> I wasn't looking pretty at all. Yeah. So um, I guess that split second with the mirror was like, mm. whoa, okay, try mm. try something. <laughs> okay, just to get stuck on it. Usually the other, how how was this 31st? Do I usually out? I'm usually movie? with family. Oh, I have a very okay. big family. So, never so I'm nev- I've never been uh, alone. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's why I was saying it's, it was different. It was a whole lot of different. Yeah. I it can, can wasn't, it. yeah. And also, you're afraid to go out. You're afraid to... There's just a lot of fear. Mm. Um, so, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah now I understand. All <laughs> yeah, the there's no... Whole... <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. To move on to the next stanza. Yes. Countdown is going to 2021 now, hopefully. <laughs> like... Countdown, the radio, distant voices, everything seems to pause. My heart, mind, and body. Fully aware of the... Wow, as the clock ticks, is that the part now where you're talking about that you just remain still? And... Yeah, so it's, I, to be honest, I can't really fully explain it in words. Also, English is honestly limiting sometimes. It um, <laughs> so it's, it, it's like as the countdown is, because also the radio was, they, they were doing a whole countdown, yeah. right? So the countdown is happening and it's just something within me, something just paused. It, everything just stood still, and I was just like, "Am I gonna do? Am I gonna live? Am I am I gonna be okay? God, please, something! You know, I needed something at yeah. that point. In in that split second, I needed something to reassure me, reaffirm me." Um, just tell me everything is going to be fine. I needed someone to tell me. Usually, you know, you've got people around. You're all screaming. You're all shouting. It's fun. You um, about you do, it. yeah, yeah, you don't have that split second to think about yeah. such things. You only think about them maybe like later on the second or, you know. <laughs> but I was in that moment at that time. So everything just kind of stood still. And I was just like, oh, my God. What I just came from. I don't want it to repeat. Yeah, I um, am I going to be okay? It, what do I even, do I even make New Year's resolution? Mm. You know, what do I do? Do at I, this? Even, plan do I even plan for the future? Yeah. So with all of that, I was just like, <sighs> okay. Uh, maybe that's your, that was your like, form of meditation. If that's what you I guess, yeah. I guess, oh, wow. I guess. Then you continue to say, in a split second, my mind <clears throat> asks if I'll make it back to yeah. what you said. Just then shouting and screaming, loud music and fireworks. It all grabs my attention. Is that when? Oh, I'm back. Yeah. So, so when the Happy New Year yeah. kind of happens, <laughs> and like all around the neighborhood, there's like noise and fireworks. Yeah. That's when it like I I came back. I was like, okay, okay, no, I'm gonna be fine. I'm, yeah. No, we're good. We're good. We move. So. At least there's hope, man. Yeah. At least there's hope, man. Yeah. Um, a call from a friend. We made it messages. Oh, we made it. Yeah. The friend said we made it. Yeah, the friend called. Um, we made it. And 
again that thing came like <laughs> did we did, did we really make it what do you mean let's ponder on this <laughs> because yeah sure we made it we're breathing mm. there were people that i guess didn't make yeah, it true. um however when you look at the bigger picture you kind of have to ask yourself did we really mm. make it because i mean we're still in this situation there's still a lot happening in this world yeah. and it doesn't look like it's, it's getting, getting better, better. Yeah. Um, if anything, people are ignoring and they're trying to shut it out and, you know, but, just... like, yeah. but it's still there. <laughs> yeah. So when she screamed that, I was like, oh, yeah, sure. And then a couple of happy new year messages just started flooding in. I was like, mm. some of them I ignored. I, I'm sorry. I, I won't lie. <laughs> some of them I left them. I was like, yes, thanks. Yeah. You too. <laughs> but yeah. So you kind of have to question Mm. You really have to. Yeah, especially after like the whole of last year. Eh? Yeah. It's... Oh, wait, okay. And then the next line is mom and sister's call. Yeah, so you phone nice call. Was those. So, so my friend called and then my, my mom called. Mm. And then that was a, a video oh, call. That was a video so, when my mom called and I had done my <laughs> hair, <laughs> she was like, You look pretty. I was like, Oh, thanks. And then there was a whole chat after that. Yeah. Um, so I, this is a whole practical event yeah, that happened. Like, it's a whole yeah. thing that happened. Yeah. That's beautiful. Moon is beautiful. People celebrating. Yeah. Conscious fireworks. There is hope. Is this, is this you trying to convince yourself now that there is actual hope? Or are you believing that there is You know, hope? so after the phone calls, the messages the me coming drawing back to myself mm. after the 12 o'clock um, countdown i don't think i needed to convince myself anymore okay. because i guess if i if i didn't if i wasn't going to be okay I, I wouldn't have made it yeah, do you understand yeah, yeah. so the fact that i was breathing at that moment and i could recognize and be aware of the beauty of the fireworks and you know um everything happening all the the joyous celebration um i was affirmed mm -hmm. so so i got what i needed in a sense um so i didn't really need convincing anymore i was good so it was i wasn't trying to convince myself i was convinced mm -hmm. because I, I guess i can say thank you to technology you know <laughs> mom calling friends yeah. yeah because if i was completely by myself and no, you know, calls coming in or messages, then I guess I would have gone six feet under. Like I said, it doesn't take time for you to dig yourself a hole and just jump in. So, yeah, so I was fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The voice inside says, give me more than five. Yeah. So there's the part of, um, the song, oh, I forgot the, the artist, the song mm. Moya Wami. Um, yeah. Yes, Kola Moya Wami. Um, so that song was voted first. It was, it was the, it won, it was the first one oh, out of that top 40. Song, yeah. yeah, it was, the, it was a crossover song. So as then it was, um, it had played, I thought to myself, what a funny song to me. <laughs> <laughs> so like, that's a weird, and then I looked at the lyrics and it kind of, for me, it was like, okay, just forgive. Yeah. 2020 happened. Leave it in 2020. Um, you're in 2021 now. Um, look forward mm -hmm. to something. Look forward. Have faith. Have hope. Um, what has passed is gone. Yeah. Literally, it's, it's gone. So oh, yeah, that... Did me into this again. Yeah, <laughs> this is, was, it was a really weird song yeah, to me. Yeah, I was like, yeah. how did that make it? But I guess it, it was really big. Yeah. But I was also like, what a song to start with, you know? Especially now in your yeah, mind, you know. You know? Yeah. So that song really affirm. It also helped affirm yeah. that no, it's okay. What has happened has happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, just free yourself off of everything. Free yourself of twenty twenty. Free yourself of all the ideas and stuff that you thought should have happened. Um, just be free. Be calm. Collect yourself. Um, it. Any any dream not happening in 2020 yeah. doesn't mean that you should chuck it away. It's not, gone, it, yeah. it's not gone. Just keep the faith. Keep the you know it it will happen in its own time. Um, 
do not disqualify mm. yourself don't disqualify the dream don't disqualify people don't disqualify creativity don't disqualify your whole being so it's a relation. Yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah. Then that was a song. It was really, I can't I could never forget that day. It was just like what a song. <laughs> wow, it's just dope. Yeah. And then I think the last line is the past is behind us. Yeah, so what I just explained, yeah. Yeah, yesterday is behind us, forgive and said, Wow. Yeah. But you have faith for what is to come. So have faith for what is to come, yeah. <laughs> like that. That's my mantra for this episode. Have faith for what is to come. <laughs> Are you still um, operating under that hopefulness that you had uh, after this revelation for this year? Yes, sir. Yes. And I think that's what I'm holding on mm. to. Yeah. It's fantastic, man. Yeah. Thank you, Natsi, for thank you for having me for going through this piece. Um, just one more question. Mm. So I know a lot of us poets uh, like to use poetry as like an outlet, and especially now because you went through this thing. In like within a span of like thirty minutes, yeah. do you feel like you are able to like display your your emotions uh, currently on the paper? Do you feel like it did what you wanted to do for you this piece specific for that moment, not for anything else? I think it did. it did. I think it did. Hence, I will never forget that day and never forget this piece. Um, it's a lot of poets right to express yeah. i think any other artist any, actually any, any artist, type yeah. of artist you know does this to express does what they do mm -hmm. to express and let out so that's that's what i did there and it served its purpose i mean if it if it is to bring hope and faith to someone else that's that's great um however for me it did serve its purpose um i mean Creatives and poets are a funny, <laughs> funny, group, of funny people. group of people. <laughs> but you know what? Mm. This world wouldn't be this world without them. Mm, that's so, true. That's true. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. for tuning in. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of your stuff, what do you do? Ooh, um, so I'm on Instagram, Unati Bula, B E U L A H. Um, Facebook, Unati Bula Moyo, M O Y O. Um, but mostly Instagram, actually. Yeah, yeah mostly Instagram. Yeah, no, actually, I should learn from you <laughs> and like do. <laughs> do I sh I'll learn from him <laughs> and start my own YouTube. But I mean, that's why he invited me. <laughs> yes. Feature in other people's, yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah true. but no. I don't have one yet. Yeah, no, you know, we'll connect with your Instagram. Yes, this. sir. Um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, yeah, check out her links. I'll leave her links in the description. Check out her work and then go follow her on Instagram. Um, yeah, and as always, it's been your boy Kwani, aka Bafana Nandini. Until next episode, peace. Bye. <laughs> I can't even look to They try to retire me. I got anxiety.